Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cedar Alenik. I'm sitting here with Jonah Morissette and we're talking music. My name is Cedar Alenik. Who are the artists in our area making an impact? What is one message you would give to a young aspiring artist? What are these artists trying to do? So this is Jonah Morissette, definitely an up, up and coming artist. So I think it'd be interesting if we could actually get your backstory of how you got into music. Well, I guess it was always a part of my life. Ever since I could remember, I've always loved music and um, listen to music on the radio and Native American music. Uh, I think I first started playing an instrument like seriously when I was in sixth grade. I, I joined the band and played trumpet throughout high school. I didn't pick up the guitar until I was a sophomore in high school, so about 15, 16 years old. Oh, wow. Um, and I didn't um, decide to do it like professionally um, until just about a couple years ago over a couple years ago now and it's been a fun time ever since for sure. So how many shows have you actually had in the past couple years? Man, I don't know. Um, but on the road a lot? Not, not too much. I mean, I'm very fortunate. Like the places that I gig at, like um, just down the street, I've gigged at the, the Old Mary Mixer, the Brass, well, brass Rail, that is. Yeah. And then in Billings, I'm, I'm at the High Horse about once a month. I'm going to be there actually this Thursday, May. From 6:30 to 9:30, and then I play there. There's a there's a bar in like a martini bar in the Northern Hotel called the Ten Lounge, and I'm, I'm there usually almost every month. I think I'm taking this month off. Cool. So I think it'd be interesting, especially to up and coming artists, those people who are just starting out or actually want to get out there and play music. How do you seek out your opportunities? Well, I, it, it's kind of different, you know, it, it just depends on the bar owner really, I mean, or, or whatever venue I'm trying to sing at. Um, like, I think when I first started out, I was I was going in and trying to meet them in person and trying to leave my contact info and trying to schedule maybe like a, a, an audition or something like that. And, um, any Anymore, I think my, my name has been getting out there and people like bar owners would come to my gig at the other bar and then so, okay, he's can come to my bar as well or oh, something. That's pretty cool. Or my place. And yeah. So what do you think would be your biggest influences, especially growing up and how has it changed till now? Like mm -hmm. who do you look at nowadays? Man, nowadays I it I would say, you know, I guess maybe nowadays and, and before, um, I've always just observed the music around me, like all around me from Native American music, and right now, like the biggest influences on me are like uh, some of the songwriters that I've met in Red Lodge. I, I, we lived in Red Lodge for a couple of years, and we just moved back to, at the start of the summer this year back here to, to Harden. And while I was down there, I got involved in uh, there's there was this thing called the Song Red Lodge Songwriters in the Round, and so I it's just local artists coming and, and just kind of um, singing their original stuff. And, it's pretty neat how much talent is is around this area, especially in the, the Red Lodge area, from what I've experienced. And, and so I, I guess I started getting inspired like by all these guys that are just really trying to write music and create music and play music. And uh, so right now, I, I, I think it's kind of the company of, of all those Red Lodge musicians and songwriters that have been inspiring me most lately. But, yeah. So. What would you classify your music as? Man, uh, that's tough because um, I like to think that I I don't really sort of fall into one category. You have to I'd have to kind of describe it a little bit. Like uh, I I'd say it's a blend of like blues, rock, and um, pop, and maybe some uh, stronger, depending on the song, more or less strong influences of like country folk, R and B, um, like gospel or church music, you know. The stuff that we heard, you know, growing up back home on the reservation and Native American music, obviously, you know, powwow music, you know.
especially interesting to me to meet someone who goes out there all the time and gets on stage and gets in front of people. How do you get those jitters out when you get out there? Do you have like a, a ritual you do? <laughs> no, no. Um, it's probably inappropriate. I usually have a few beers before I get on stage. <laughs> a little bit of the courage. So it calms your nerves a little yeah, bit? Yeah, totally. Totally. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I think, you know, the more you do it, you know, the more you're able to do it. I mean, I, you know, I think I'm still going to get the jitters when I'm like 70 if I'm still alive doing this. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just. I think it just gets easier as you do it more and more. I mean, it never gets easy, but it's just you're able to push through it a little bit better than you did, you know, the previous night. That's probably like a little bit of the fun part too, is getting out there and feeling that. Oh, it makes it exciting for sure. Yeah, yeah, it makes you feel alive for sure. So yeah, I don't, I don't shy away from getting really nervous about something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll never mention it at the time if I'm scared, but it's it's a. Uh, like an adrenaline rush or something, yeah. and you know, get through it. And, so like, does, actually, oh, does that actually help you perform better when you feel those butterflies, or? Sometimes and sometimes not. Sometimes it's kind of uh, scary and intimidating, and and it's really tough to sing, and, and it's really tough to get my mind to focus on what I'm doing if if I'm really nervous about yeah. something. Um, but sometimes I don't know. It's like. Yeah, I guess it, it, it helps sometimes, um, and I don't, <laughs> I don't have a good explanation of what's the difference between the two or how that happens, but sometimes it helps and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. So that other one was called Some Fine Day. This one's called Emily.
How long have you actually been playing guitar? Um, well, I think I started playing in high school when I was a sophomore. So 15, 16 years old, I, I, I got a guitar from my great uncle. He got, he got one from the pawn shop, and so I, I really would play that all, all the time. And, you know, I had buddies that were picking up on guitar, so I kind of wanted to keep up with them. It was like the cool thing to do, yeah. I guess. So, yeah, ever since I was 15 or 16 years old. So, so. what kind of guitar do you play? I got I I play a, a Taylor a guitar mostly for my solo gigs my solo acts are just me by myself but I'm in a couple bands as well and I usually play an electric guitar for that okay. uh, Fender Strat. So I think it'd, it'd be especially interesting to those guitar buffs out there is what what sort of pick do you prefer you like prefer hard medium soft? Yeah, I think it's medium. Uh, it's, it? a, it's a Jim Jim Dunlop pick or something. Yeah, nylon, 60. Mm, that's yeah. like my favorite. Pick. We play guitar too. This is my favorite pick in the world is in the mediums, especially this one. Cool. Yeah. So you, do you have any shows coming up? Uh, yeah, um, next week, May 3rd, I'll be at the High Horse from 6.30 to 9.30. And then on May 5th for Cinco de Mayo, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be with one of my bands. Uh, this one uh, is Scarecrow and the Murder, is what, they're called, what we're called. We're going to be playing. We're going to be playing in Ranchester, Wyoming at the Book Shot Saloon. I think is what it's called. Book Shot Saloon, something like that. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. if there's, if you were to tell yourself, especially the success you're having now, just starting out, if you were to go back in time and tell yourself something, what would it be? Mm. Like any advice to yourself, just starting out? Oh man, you know, that one's tough. I mean, uh, I wish I prepared a lot. I mean, there was plenty of times when I sort of got brave and like, I'm gonna try this song. I don't really remember the chords to it, um, but I think mean, I can fake my way through it. And then I might have train wrecked and crashed yeah. and burned on it, forgot the lyrics and had to only do half the song or something like that. But, you know, at the same time, you know, that's that can also be looked at as an advantage. You know, it's, it's helpful because you know, it has to suck at first, you know. <laughs> Hopefully nobody's watching when it sucks, yeah. but you know, that's how it's gonna get better. So that's it, that's actually the, the best way to grow as an artist anyway, is just yeah. get out there and learn and experiment and have those failures and mm -hmm. so what would you say to the aspiring artists out there? Uh, practice. You know, use your time to practice. Um, yeah, because time flies and you find yourself, you know, 30 some years old, like, oh man, I, for, if I started playing guitar at 16 years old, I should be amazing right now, and I'm not, but you know, I'm getting these gigs and I'm, I'm just gonna start out, start going from where I'm at right now, but I mean, had I known or really gave it some serious thought that I'm gonna try to pursue music one day professionally, I might have been practicing a little more. Yeah. So you guys can check out Jonah Morissette on Facebook. You can, it's definitely some artist to follow, one of the biggest, uh, in the future, you're going to be, I have a feeling you're going to be big. <laughs> Thank you, that's really kind of you. Humbling. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll put his links in the description, especially in the video, and you guys can check him out on Facebook, and you, you can start a YouTube channel. I, I think I better, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting started with Let's that. Let's get you one started and get it out there. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Really Hearts Magazine.